In this tutorial, you will learn how to grade an assignment in eBackpack. Starting from the home screen, we will focus on the awaiting review tile. The number in the gray circle indicates the number of ungraded submissions from students. Click on the tile to see a list of all assignments that have submissions awaiting review. From the list, you can simply select the grade option and it will take you to the grade and review module of eBackpack. However, if you click on an assignment name, you will be taken to the assignment page where you can view a list of all student submissions for that assignment. Simply click on the assignment submissions title in the section in the lower right, and you will see a list of all submitted work. You can also see which students have not yet turned in a submission by selecting the box next to missing. Green rows indicate students who have turned in their work on time. Red rows are for students who have turned in their work late. To grade student work, simply select the Grade button. Clicking the Grade button takes you to the Grade and Review module in eBackpack. We can see all of the student's information towards the upper left corner, and we can see who has turned in work in the lower left corner. On the website, we grade student work with sticky note annotations. Click the sticky note icon next to mark it, and then click anywhere on the student's work. Click inside the note to add text. You can change the way the sticky note looks by changing the font size, font color, background color of the note, and you can even resize the note. To move the note, simply click outside of the note, then click and drag your note to your desired location. After you've added a sufficient number of notes to the submission, give the student a grade. Within the grade box, you can type in any type of grade you want, from A plus to 8 out of 10, incomplete, or a numeric grade like 95. We generally recommend that you write grades that are compatible with your gradebook in the event that you import those grades into your gradebook. Below the grade box is a box for review. If you want to send any additional comments to your student, you can type them in here. If you want to send a file back to the student, such as a grading rubric or revised paper in a track changes mode, you may click the select file to upload link and choose the appropriate document to send to the student. After completing the review, click the complete review and return button. The graded work will immediately be sent back to the student. We can select another student's work to grade by clicking on their name in the lower left hand box. And once we finish grading all of our students' work, we can exit the Grade and Review module. This will take us back to the Assignment Submissions page where all of our graded work is reflected. See our video tutorial on exporting grades.